All right, today, since I didn't get a chance to get out on the water, a lot of rain, front's moving in and out, it's kind of cool, kind of nasty out. Yesterday, we tried to get out, but the lightning, thunder kind of stopped. As you can see, what we got, we got good cold front condition that came through, but the way the rain storms are coming through, I don't know if I really trust it. Yesterday, we had a lot of lightning, a lot of thunder, uh, kind of sporadic wind. So today, I want to talk about what I fish with and why I fish with it. Scents, to me, are pretty important. The pink crappie nibbles, like it says, my favorite. I probably got 10 jars of these in my boat. I get them for Christmas, get them for my birthday. Uh, this is my absolute favorite scent to use on any of my crappie jigs. I always have it in the boat. I've seen some guys on YouTube talking about these crappie fireballs. The thing with the crappie fireballs is they are so small. Um, they're hard to use. I usually try to get one out. I end up spilling 20 on the floor of the boat. I got kind of frustrated with them. If they would have made them a little bit bigger, I probably would have used them a lot more. Uh, the scent that goes with them is unbelievable. It smells the same as if you'd bought a bucket of minnows. Put your head in a bucket and smell the minnows. That's what these smell like. So I've got to... I would think these would have to be good, but I can't get them on the hook. And I couldn't imagine trying to get them on the hook if it was 40 degrees out, your hands were cold. Um, like I said, I really wish they would have made them a little bit bigger. They came in two cents that I found. There was one that I'm going to say was like um, live shad or something. I'm not really sure if it says on here or not. It probably does somewhere. Yeah, shad scent. And then they had some other ones that were garlic scented. The scent with them is very strong, but like I said, it's just so hard to get them on a hook. Uh, some of my crappie jigs I use, I got probably 10 times more than this inside the boat. I use a lot of Bobby Garland, Wally Marshall, Mr. Crappie. Um, I got some that just came from Walmart that are like little Arky. I'm pretty sure of these. Uh, my all-time favorite color, this one. I know you kind of see the metal flake sparkle in it. I like these. My next favorite would have to be it's probably been my go-to color all my life, as long as I've been crappie fishing, is that one. That jig right there with a 16th ounce jig head. It's always been my favorite combination. That right there, to me, I've probably caught more crappie off that setup right there than anything. Probably, probably caught more crappie off that than I have live minnows, live bait. Something else I have in my boat, it's always in my boat, is my minnow bucket. I made it. I didn't want to spend the $200 on a one that I can make at home myself. If I could do it myself, I'll probably do it. Simple aerator in the bottom of it. I drilled a hole through the back side, run it out through the front. I've got a small 12 volt lawn garden battery that goes in your ride mower and that box on that side of the boat. I keep it plugged in. It's pretty handy. I've kept my nose live in it for four or five days even when it's extremely hot out uh, next thing i've always got in my boat always got slip floats love slip floats always come in handy when you're trying to find that exact depth that'll help you a lot uh, some of my videos coming up in the future i'll show you how i rig them how i set them up i've got a different array assortment of hooks i got them all the way down to I don't know what size you would call that. Probably four out, maybe two. All the way up a little bit bigger. Just kind of depends on how aggressive the crappie are, how aggressive they're biting. Split shots, I do it the same way. Got a wide assortment. I got clip-on floats, and I use those more for when crappie are up shallow and I want to get up close to the bank. But I don't want to get overly close to the bank, so I'll tie a crappie jig on underneath these. 
pull it back, kind of twitch it back from the bank, see what happens. Next thing I've always got in my boat is I've always got my B&M rods. You know, not to, uh, I'm not calling any company out, but these rods are unbelievable. The 10 foot rods are probably my favorite. And the reason I like going with the long, long jig pole is it keeps me from getting too close to where the fish are. I can keep my distance. I don't spook a lot of things. That one's 10 foot. I think I've got four of them that are 10 foot. I've got this one right here that's 12. I've got three of these that are 12. And this one right here I've had 25 years. And I still would trust it as much today as I did back when I first bought it to pull a 16th inch crop. 16 16 inch crappie over the side of my boat got no problems with it trust that rod love that rod one of the two best rods i've ever owned in my life the next one i keep in my boat i just keep one that's around four and a half five foot long um, i can cast a jig long way with that four pound line is my main setup spring summer winter fall um High vis, you can see I got high vis on all of them. I use um, Fluger reels, and they're not super expensive. I think they're like $24, $25 at Walmart, but I trust them. I have faith in them. I got confidence in them. I've yet to have one fail. Love those reels. It's a good good match with 10-foot rods, and I think you can even get those 10-foot beam and rods. I think they even sell those at Walmart, too. They were maybe $39. And I know when you go you go to Bass Pro and you go look at long crappie rods, you'll see them everywhere from, I think, like $59 all the way up to like $200. The crappie don't care. Use one you got faith in. Use one use one that, that you have a confidence level in. Set it up the way you like it. Set your boat up the way you like it. Keep your boat comfortable. Keep it where you can access everything easy i keep um everything right there in that box on this side i keep all my crappie fishing jigs on that side um another thing is i don't spend any more money than i have to the electronics on the boat i've got a um, new hummingbird down imaging 139 dollars off of amazon I haven't really got a whole lot of chance to use it yet, so I'm still kind of learning it. The down imaging is quite a bit different than what I've been used to using before. But I think within the next couple weeks, I could probably give you more information on it. If I like it, if I don't like it, what I like about it, what I don't like about it. Um, right now, the biggest thing I see I don't like about it is it don't save your settings once you turn the power off. When you turn the power off, you've got to go back to set your sensitivity, turn your fish alarm on and off. The screen, crystal clear, beautiful, great images, uh, but I'll know a little bit more about it sometime in the future. But that's kind of my basic setup. That's kind of what I keep in my boat. And like I said, I don't spend tons of money on my fishing gear. Uh, the LCR that's on the front on the dashboard. I'm thinking it was brand new, probably 92, 93. But that's how I do my setup. My boat's not really expensive. The crappie, I'm sure, do not care whether your boat was $600 or $60,000. Trying to find them, figuring out the depth they're at, figuring out what they're wanting to eat on. Having confidence in your spot, having confidence in your lake. Uh, I fished mainly southwest Missouri, but I grew up in Kentucky. I fished Kentucky Lake. I fished uh, Real Foot Lake in Tennessee. Just uh, get out and experiment with what you got. Experiment with some of the things. I think later on in later on in other videos, I'm gonna prove the price situation with the crappie fishing. I think I'm gonna go out and buy the cheapest rod and reel I can get away with, set it up with the crappie jig, and let you know how it turns out. If anything else you're wanting to see, know, 
send me a message let me know and by the way if you do see me out in the boat on the lake and you see me catch a fish come and talk to me ask me i'll help you figure out the fish i'll even i'll put you in my boat if if you'd like to but i think we're all out on the lake for one specific thing that's catch fish relax if you see me out on the lake say hi pull up Thank <laughs> you.